So I might make this like, I might push this in front of the schedule of all the other videos. So we had Christian Horner and Christian Horner, apparently all the WhatsApp messages where he was just assaulting one of his workers all that got dropped in a google drive and got shared to all the journalists and all the stuff i looked it up it wasn't even on like a porn site or nothing like it was on f***ing x which i guess is a porn site i was gonna go to lakeside and eat f that i'm going through this now so i sent it to the f1 group chat there is a penis be warned out of focus but it's still there and very red yeah so um i'm gonna just look through this because this is more entertaining than Lakeside. Yeah, he's cooked. Like, I hope he understands that, like, he is cooked. Ain't nobody gonna, like, look at him the same. No one's gonna, like, treat him the same. So, yeah, he's so fucked. Like, if he gets fired from this, honestly, it wouldn't be the craziest thing. So, I'm gonna just look through these photos. If there's something interesting, I'll hop back on the camera and stuff. Welcome to silly season. First day of qualifying or, like, free practice or whatever. So, when you go through, like, the, like, the link I used, you can see, like, the very first three photos. And then I'm on this one. So, this is him, the text conversation he's like yo i like what you're wearing and even the girl he's talking to is like um your wife wouldn't like me saying that this is like four pictures in I, this is four pictures in i don't know how many there are but this man is cooked and i just uploaded a vlog i think i'm gonna have to like stay inside and keep working to upload like whatever this turns into i'm gonna just leave the camera up i don't know just record me and like my reactions and shit. this man is so cooked right now he is he is in so much trouble right now. I was like, the only person he really needs to watch out for is his wife, but shit, he has to look out for us too now. Like every fan like has just pictures. So I'm going through it right now. I'm clocked out into the morning. He said, not the pic I was expecting. She said, your wife would not be happy and like eye roll. And he said, of you leaving early, I think I'm very generous. And then she said, of you asking me for pictures of what I'm wearing. He said, okay, okay. You don't have to miss call, night, night, brutal, yep shame but i said no video and you keep trying you didn't have to turn yours on i can't answer it though but i don't think you can turn video off anyways you can see me tomorrow yes you can boring yep night night good night miss boring pants someone in the f1 group chat they said it a second ago hold up all right so matt he was like my man either has insanely negative riz or these are fake and like they're so random and stuff that i'm convinced they're real morning morning how'd you sleep fine good what's the outfit choice today skirt which one have i seen yes to replying them to have i seen when send a pic to remind me nope bro <laughs> bro is getting shut down oh my god i hate seeing this there's no riz she's hitting them with the one word replies dude don't do it all right so i don't know if these are in chronological order i'm just reading them in like the order that they came in i'm curious how many there are i'm not gonna hold y'all i'm gonna be here for a minute bro if each, the, each row is like four, then like I can say for sure they're like uh, four, eight, like 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Like there's like 50 some messages. And then he sent his nipple, which is, it's a nipple. It's a fat dude's nipple. Like nothing crazy, but like she also, he also sent his penis. Um, I think that was in the Twitter reply. Oh, no, but it's right, right there. Out of focus, but very red. She's hitting him with the one words, bro. This crazy yeah but you aren't next to him this year nope don't worry if they don't don't want to pay crazy money what's the problem with suits they are crazy money we are looking into though maybe that's maybe that's what happened i asked and the price was crazy any news from an nope have you made it to trader vix yet in 10 minutes it's chilly in the evening here okay that's good to know bring some worn stuff for evening outside yep i will one unread message and it's from him and black nighty these are hers we're starting off with her i currently have you leaving at 4 p.m and arriving back at 4 might need to be slightly flexible no problem like you question mark you said you could do the splits no i definitely can't used to nope must be someone else you like Bro's got no riz. <laughs> Crab, I'm sure it was you. I can get a leg behind my head. There you go. And take a selfie. Bro, this dude just wants pics from her. This sh is crazy. Oh my god, bro. Dog, let it go. She sent thumbs up. Thank you for dinner, by the way. Pleasure. Night, night. Hope you enjoy your blast in Bahrain. Amazing. Hope you did. Still waiting. It was fun to make you. You wouldn't let me. Haha. -ha. You can hold on long enough. Laughing face, laughing face. He sent. And now delete this chat, please. Bro was trying to keep it a secret, bro. At least. No, I'm not going to hold you. If you're going to cheat, like fully admit to that shit. Be like, yeah, I fucking did it. Here are the I messages and shit. If you're trying to hide it, like the more likely it's going to get found. If you're going to fully commit to it, just have it right there no don't even like deny it don't try to excuse it just like fully admit to it if you're gonna be if you're gonna cheat and all this stuff like just 
don't do it. It's like, if you're gonna do something bad, at least do it properly, all right? You shouldn't be cheating. If you're unhappy in the relationship, leave that shit. But if you're gonna stay, at least do that shit right. Do you need an audit trail? Nope. What color did you go for? I just met Thema and her husband, and then for Kushia Pink. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything and download it just in case they like delete it or whatever. And yeah, I'm gonna have a picture of Christian Horner's dick. That's a nice thought. Um, I'm gonna keep it just in case I put it into the video as like pop it up on the screen, kind of like how I do my reels and stuff. If I don't, then I'm gonna delete all these so I do not have a picture of Christian Horner's dick on my computer. <laughs> oh, this dude is so cooked. All right, we got, we stopped at like pink or something. Yeah, pink. Nice, and jeans. What color did you go for? What about you? And then he sent, I just met them and her husband. It was meant to be a laugh. Shame. Could you put London meeting on June 21st, five, two to 5 p.m.? GP would like to chat for two minutes. I don't mind. What's underneath that matters? What's underneath at the moment? Nothing, I'm in my PJs. Then that's the best. <laughs> Still waiting for a distracting pic. Nope. You got a switch from earlier, one that is, for the weekend. Bro, I don't understand. It's Christian f***ing Horner. Even if you're like not into motorsport and sh if you tell any ho that you're like, I am the Christian Horner. I got the bands to prove it. I got the, the car to prove it. All this stuff. Any ho would be perfectly happy to be your side bitch. And she wouldn't even be trying to leak these messages. This girl went over to HR and she he didn't even get a picture, bro. So far, I have not seen a picture of her. I don't even think there is a picture of her. You could have got a ho send you nudes every single day. Something about Drake said, like, and they send me naked pictures. It's the little things. Like, you could have had a doing all that and would not snitch on you and then you chose her you got to do better christian you got to do better honestly or you know um you have a wife so maybe get all that like d deal with it with her i feel like that's kind of her job and stuff what do i know though oh my god still waiting for a distracting pic she just does not send picture no you got a twitch from the earlier one that is it for the weekend that was boring you could do better than that need something for the trip back the excitement of just seeing me in the morning yes i can do better but you aren't my boyfriend i know but you can send something for the next 12 hours this is down bad bro all right so this is our home screen this is wednesday june 7th so i mean it was last year but like still and all this stuff like yeah this dude's still guilty christian horner sent i really wanted you today wink face sounds good to me which pjs your picks are always better when you have an i guess aesthetic yeah, you have an aesthetic. That was the tame one, and you seen similar before. The pink stripe PJs. The last you sent on, okay, anesthetic or anesthetic. The last one you sent on anesthetic was the winner. And like, I'm cringing real hard because like, this is how like I used to type in shit for like a girl that I don't know. I don't think when I was texting her, she was into me, like boyfriend and stuff. I don't know. There's a whole fucking, there's a whole timeline in my relationship that I probably should get back into. So I, even I can figure it out. Like it's been a minute, but like I used to type like this. This is crazy as fuck, bro. And it's like the friend zone typing, bro. She's like straight up denying you. I can't even fucking text messages from Christian Horner. Like do not be this. And if you're texting girls like this, I need you to like man the fuck up. I need you to lock in. I need you to like adamantly look at yourself in the mirror and be like, am I where I need to be in life? The answer is probably no if you're texting a girl like this and this is her response. Also, she's not with you. So don't even be like wasting your time on her. Christian, like you could have done so much better. Pink Stripe, the last you sent on an aesthetic was a winner. What do you want me to wear on the plane tomorrow? And I will, within reason, and it has to be close. I don't mind. That's what's underneath that matters. What's underneath at the moment? Uh, nothing, I'm in my PJs. Then that's the best. Still waiting for a distracting pick. We need to be good. I can behave. I really want to see you. Can you come here or me to you today? Missed video call while on do not disturb. Won't hurt to answer. Missed call like, um, that was what? 12.04, 12.12, few minutes later. My do not disturb is on, so it doesn't even ring. Bro, she's leaving you on ring bro not too bad you pretty good i tried but you'd closed up already already in bed so was i didn't see slashier the message before 10 never mind tried both phones and college this got two phones bro not on some players either he just has two phones he on some work shit. come on bro work one is downstairs what you up to now about to shower perfect time to call another missed call we're like three in the last two messages bro already in even better this oh my god bro <laughs> because this is some shit that like i would use to type do not be like the old me do not be like christian horner oh my god bro he is down bad don't forget to call joe on your 
on your drive about Carla. Thumbs up. Can I have a coffee, please? Sure. Give me five minutes to go get it. I can have your chicken sandwich if you want it later. We can arrange a couple of fleeces for Thomas and his colleagues to type the staff wear as a gift. Our regular staff or our track staff. Regular, so not louds. Loads of branding. Sure. You look gorgeous today. Bro, I don't know. He's just so down bad. I hate seeing it, bro. I really do. Maybe get to Q3. Question mark. Use imagination. Still can't sleep. I just had a bowl of Cocoa Puffs and now ready for bed. My favorite. Missed call again. Can I call you? It's bedtime. Oh my gosh. She's like She's like friend zoning him, but like it keeps getting worse. It's like she's acting like a mother, bro, and this shit is tragic. I know. Night night. Okay, so that's a no. Sleep well. If you wake early, give me a call. That's a no. He keeps trying to call her. It's just not fing working. Yep. Three to zero, but only played ten minutes. Can you speak? Audio, yes. Video? No cuz I'm watching rugby. You can do both and keep me up to speed. I don't need to see you in bed. I don't need to see you in bed is crazy. Another miss calls, another miss call, misery. Call the kids or wife. Oh my God, bro. Oh, no, seriously, like call your god family. Damn, she had to tell you, that's bad. How's the wine? Just got back and the tiger beer is strong. How's the wine? All done. It was a quick beer. Watching the rugby, rug, shit. Rutch, what, fuck. <laughs> Watching the rugby, English versus Japan. Are we winning? Yep, 3-0, but only played 10 minutes. Can you speak? Audio, yes, video. No, because I'm watching rugby. You can do both and keep me up to speed. You don't, I don't need to see you in bed. Okay, so these are all in different order, but whatever. I am happy to travel commercial though. Okay, how are you tracking the flight budget so far? Must have saved a lot with this trip. And then just send a picture of him looking happy. It's not that bad. Kelly is calling you. Be sure to private. For sure, private is great for short haul, but for nobody like me and can go business when and then commercial is plenty good enough. Something, someone else might be online now. She is five hours behind. And then responding to him, I thought you liked it. I never said I didn't, but I can't do that anymore. You weren't. I guess what would you like to? I know, but that's worse than touching. Why? You calling me and then I just listen or help or talk to help you. That's basically like calling a channel. Exactly. Good for both. Stop. Good night. One unread message. Okay, good night. This thing is stroking to her voice. That's crazy, bro. Oh my god. Hate to see it. Something something. Have finished by now. Still fiddling? You? Nope. I do have a picture, but it's front on. Have it on my dating page. Send a screenshot. Opened. That was Bahrain. Little flag. He, he puts the flag. He stands with Bahrain. Love those shoes. You can buy me some more with the money you owe me. Would be happy to. Want to finish the call? You carry on. Night night. Not sure I can. Maybe a pick would help. Uh, okay. On one hand, it's like, I have no nothing about HR, but I still feel like if you engage in the sexual harassment that you claim, like it, the claim is thrown out the window. Like you're involved in this and you're helping it and you're not being like, stop, this is inappropriate or like not messaging him back and then going straight to HR. Like if you're involved in it and you're help pushing it forward and making the calls and all this stuff, like I feel like you're harassment should go out the window because you're actively participating in it. I don't know. Just me. I don't know how HR works in the workplace. Not far. Wanted you to hear the fireball. Any interest? You could have just recorded it. Not the same. Uh, well, I hope you go to sleep soon. Speak tomorrow. Night night. Guess that's the plight F off. That it's bedtime for both of us. You in bed? Sure am. Sure I can't tempt you? Nope. I don't need to hear you. That's crazy, bro. Thought you liked it. Someone else might be online now. She is five hours behind. Researching stuff? Night night though. Can't sleep. What stuff? And just thinking about your red trousers in AD. Liquid fireplaces. Interesting. You need a flu? Nope. And you have a pic of those red trousers in AD. Not if you get a bioethanol one. You have the pictures of the trousers? Nope. Are you still playing? Thought she would have finished by now. Good night. Okay, good night. We'll continue Hans solo. No Riz. No Riz. This to read bro <laughs> sleep not going well morning alistair is in the car and on his way hello sorry to hear you didn't sleep great anyways the same with these early starts you don't worry about getting up i knew i had to get up that was not meant to say getting up on time we'll let you get ready i'm in a lot of spaces shower call if you like bro this 
is obsessed with the calls, bro. All right, which one? We're on f***ing like 26 out of how many? There are 80 in here, Jesus Christ. But you guys like get the idea. I wonder if there's something else like crazier in there. I don't know. But this is like really important, basically because Red Bull lied when they said there was no harassment or anything. And unless they're using my logic for how HR should work, which they're not, they are just lying. So they investigated themselves and then found themselves innocent. Someone said the joke, like a lot of American police, I agree. Thing is, I think the FIA was like, yeah, we're fine with whatever like the investigation came up with. So now they're in trouble. Now all of us fans have the evidence, including a picture of his penis, which is not what I expected when I woke up today. So he is f***ed on all those counts. He's in big ass trouble and i'm wondering like yeah they have to fire him at this point they have to fire him like especially with the evidence coming out even if they say like yo you know even if rebel is like yo these are fake messages and this isn't him it's like that is him like no one's going through all this effort no one's doing this to any other um team principal it's him so he's fucked and I'm wondering who they're gonna replace him with at Red Bull. And I wonder if that's gonna put a dip in Red Bull performance or or what. Basically, Christian Horner is fired. He didn't even get to start the season before they dropped this shit. If I, I'm gonna go through this in my free time. If there's anything else crazy in here, then I'll put it in. I'm gonna try to get this video that I'm recording right now out either tonight or tomorrow. Kind of just see where this all goes and just... I wanted to see news of him getting fired, bro, because like I'm a hater of Red Bull just because they're winning, not because like they're the terrible team or anything. Like they're just winning. So like I want to see my, my drivers on top. This is fired, which sucks because he was a really good team principal. If you want to win, you get Christian f***ing Horner. That is locked in. He's a really good leader. Ready Red Bull, put Red Bull on top on what they are right now. As like a fan, I like I want to see him fired and stuff. But like actually seeing him fired, like I want to see him fired. I want to see everyone who let him get away with this get in trouble. I just want entertainment, bro. Like this is crazy. And it was like, I didn't even have beef with Christian. Like he didn't, I didn't think about him like too too much day to day, just cause like I, he's not my team, my team's team principal. Like I didn't even think of him. So the fact that this came out, shows that everyone is lying trying to protect red bull and they can't anymore just because all this information got leaked yeah he's getting fired it's not like i don't even want him to get fired he's just getting fired there is no way he's coming up from this especially when the whole internet has a picture of your dick and you being down bad like i feel like those two are very good reasons on why you're getting fired and you're never getting hired again honestly he is so if he gets divorced, then that's going to be extra crazy. I'm thinking his wife's not going to divorce him or whatever. But this dude is going to be like, you have to get fired after this. You can't continue the F1 season like this is not happening right now. <laughs> oh my God. Also completely forgot to introduce myself. My name is Riker. Anyways, as I was saying, just going through the chat and stuff, we got this one. The other ones are kind of like what I've read so far. So this one goes, I will as a director. Okay, thank you. Rob isn't a director. I know, but I can delegate if you wanted. I'm sure only a director can bind the company. So it'd be me or him. Okay, Mad Childs was asking, but let him know. Thanks. I bet you're missing me. Do you? Of course. Really? Why? How? Your smile and bum. He's not beating the allegations. This man is cooked. He is guilty and down bad, which I feel like you lose in legal court and in the court of public opinion. Taking two L's is crazy, but he did. Buy it like the ice cube. Have you tried it? Yep. You? Nope. You should. I think you would like it. Okay. What do you think? I don't know. Other than it being cold, you should try one day. If you don't try, you don't know. I know. I have to find someone to try it with first. Good point. Can always try with yourself. It's, I don't know, bro. He's just down bad and I can't keep defending. Well, I wasn't defending him, but I can't keep defending him. Everything I read just makes it so much worse. We're on 31 out of 80. There's a lot in here. All right, so I'm at this one and I guess I'm doing relationship and giving you flirt advice and stuff. Oh my God. Here's how it starts. Hope you had fun. Lots. How's it going there? All good so far. Nice day. Hope the drivers behave. Well, let's hope so. Praise. Just finished a workout, I've been way too lazy recently. That means leggings, good for you. Sure does, which color, gray and top. And then she just proceeds to like keep going in the conversation. She like keeps going about whatever. He's like responding about the racers and who was close to Max and whatever. From your lack of response, I guess you had no top on. She shrugs, she laughs, so no top then. But if you're flirting and she drops you some information like that, like, oh, I was wearing, I was at the gym. And you know what that means, it means leggings she did not send you a picture or she was like do you want to see my fit she's not with you dog she's just not 
in which you don't put yourself in the situation when you're like, you're getting clowned by me on the internet for being down bad. Don't put yourself in that situation. You could do so much better. All right, so I don't know how their like situation worked where he's just sending pictures all the time. We got this new picture of him. Someone please turn this into a meme. But I don't know, she's never sent a picture. I don't even know what she looks like. And like, if you're doing all this effort and you're just sending it, sending it, sending it, and she's not reciprocating or her best reaction to sending a funny picture of you is ha ha, it just stop the conversation. Stop it. You gotta like step back. You gotta like study the ancient art of Riz and then come back and look for a better bitch, bro. You can't be doing this. I don't know why he just sent it either. I guess he's on the flight or whatever. It just looks terrible. I don't know even how you defended yourself in the investigation that went down. Now we're moving into the text where she's texting someone else. She sent a screenshot and I guess I'm gonna try to zoom in, try to see, but the reaction, the response was, this is sexual assault. And then her response is, I'm not saying that to him. And even if she was engaging in all this stuff, like she could just pull that card out. Like, I am not saying that to him. He's my boss. And like, I can't be like, you can't talk to me like that or I'll be fired. She has a, such a good case for getting, for just suing him, getting a bunch of money for suing him. So the text was, so what do I say to Caroline? Yes to Friday. Okay, for you, but last time. Okay, so we will give them the old break disc and pad and they can frame it. Yep, I've responded to Ollie on WhatsApp. Okay, still in the Hispanics? Yep. What did you like about them so much? You look very attractive in them. You must know that. They're just leggings, but it's what's in them that counts. You need to stop. You can't sing things like this. Like, even if she's engaging in it, like, she is a perfect case for sexual harassment. And yeah, Horner is going down. He is so fired. All right, so this is right after the spandex comment. He was like, she said, you need to stop. You can't say things like this. He said, that's not too offensive, I hope. Apologies if you thought it was. It was supposed to be a compliment. Apologies. That's okay. Trying to understand what the boundaries are as there didn't used to be any. Think woman behind has COVID. That's he's like you just knows that he's doing wrong and like still committed to it but he's not even committing to like a full-on affair he's committing on to like a friend zone whatever like if you're gonna do something bad at least fully commit to it and he's just down bad hate to see it all right boom next we have a response from her when he said there used to be no boundaries he says i think the woman behind me has covid she says hopefully just has a cold he says trying to understand where boundaries are as there didn't used to be any she said best way to think of it is would jerry approve of me saying thinking doing this his response was why i don't know message was deleted correct no more flirting understood please can you delete this whatsapp conversation thanks message and calls and then encrypted whatever the one we just had no shit. the whole please I really understand why but okay thank you hi how was your flight okay so far did you delete the entire chat someone is snoring badly now like i don't know the way he's doing it is like you're just like fully hoping that she does what she say leads to chat and all this stuff and also trying to get rid of evidence definitely doesn't make him look any better so they're talking about his flight now and then sorry but can you please delete she said no i haven't about the chat there isn't any reason to delete and then he says i would really prefer if you did like i do so so there's a fresh start i just have felt that i haven't pissed you off and i don't really know why i think you know who i am as a person it takes a lot to piss me off so i'm not sure why i have i'm just not very happy at the moment we'll sort that out over christmas i don't understand why is there something i have done wrong for sure i don't like being told who and who i can't hang out with but it's just me like i said in the new year it would be different i'm not controlling you and i did offer you a way out if you're not happy why will it be different in the new year but i love my job and the team and the people i'm around that's not the issue i don't want to leave unless i'm told to so if he is controlling her up just another like strike added on to the list that he has going on already i just have to figure out my home life better i agree it's not good to be on your own so much but when you suddenly day not to flight with you or stay in different hotels i start to think i've done something wrong i'm out twice this week and i in the weekend and i'm pretty busy in december now i hate the winter always have he says i just don't want to argue our races i have enough of it as it is i'm also trying to respect your boundaries but you think we should stay at the same hotel because i know i will ask for help with an email not even riz bro <laughs> it's just sexual harassment you wanted a traveling pa and i just think that if i'm at a different hotel then that somewhat defeats the object i'm happy to help you with those kind of things that's what i'm being paid for just nothing inappropriate so she's calling him out now i think this is a different text something about her hating the winter just nothing inappropriate and i'll try my best not to give you added argo i get that but i do feel you're judging me in what way because of my life choices 
What do you mean? Nannies? Although I've been looking into your new lounge at Heathrow, it is a very private and I think you can roll up about 40 minutes before flight. Nannies? No more broader than that. I'm the first to say that you need to travel private. The time it saves you, etc. Oh, uh, and then telling her about like a lounge at Heathrow. If he's been the nannies bro just another strike which could lead to even more strikes this dude is not winning so now she's responding to him saying because of my life choices but what do you mean about this the way i am what is that supposed to mean i don't understand i don't know like i'm looking at this and it's like there maybe is like a chemistry in person but in the text it's like not even like i don't know they just seem like not even liking each other or like messing with each other and it's like why would y'all go through this like again this is christian horner he's got bands and whatever he can pick up any that he wants why did he choose the one girl who was like actively not with him and why did she keep like feeding his ego instead of going straight to hr because she didn't even f him so it's not like she was into him and then it didn't work out and then she went and did all this it's like she just didn't f him before and then didn't put him through it and then at the end she still didn't him and then just suddenly dropped all this do you understand why i don't think vegas flight outbound is a good idea i mean it's you making it into an issue that wasn't there but if it makes you feel more comfortable then that is fine because of my life choices what do you mean about this the way i am and then she says like i don't understand he says doesn't matter well if it does if you think i'm judging you just your comments earlier when i was trying to give you a compliment that's all how is that going to do with your lifestyle and it's like the back and forth where usually if you two like really mess with each other y'all would be sending paragraphs and like opening up and like it drama and stuff this is just like two three word conversations back and forth and y'all really just not messing with each other i don't know like why are you even that like why are you in this just your comments earlier when i was trying to give you a compliment that's all how's that got to do with your lifestyle not material lifestyle how i've been with you ah uh, okay for sure i don't understand if someone is happily married why they then try to get with someone else it's more understandable if you are unhappy that's why i always say would you like jerry doing this to her pa and that's when i think you're judging me but that's okay it's very flattering that you find me attractive and like me but if you're happy then it's just wrong and then i have to act in front of jerry but if you're unhappy you can tell me it's like they're not even mess with each other. He's just like, uh, how do I read it a second ago. He's like, and that's when I think you're judging me, but that's okay. He's acting like a kid my age being like, you know, kind of being petty and stuff. And then he hits you with like, but that's okay and stuff to like whatever argument y'all were having. And she brings up a good point. Would you want, I think he's talk, she's talking about his wife, like doing this with her PA. And then he's like, oh, now you're judging me and all this stuff. And it's like baby stuff. It's like, this is something that someone my age would do. Horner's like 50, he's like 60. Like, what the f are you doing still acting like this? And then she's dropping all the problems and stuff and like just fully acknowledging that she knows that he's married. He knows that he's married and she's not comfortable with all this. But if you're unhappy, you can tell me. One unread message. Now we're getting into paragraph territory. You are attractive and I certainly don't and won't put up either of us in an awkward situation. I think we covered that in Japan and Mexico and I fully respect, as I hope you have seen, your boundaries. I don't know, bro, like friend zone type stuff and it's like the boundaries and stuff and how much I can like be allowed to flirt with you. Like you're not even winning in like the Riz. Like you are, you are so far gone in the Riz. And then when it comes to like the legal stuff and the harassment and stuff, it's like you did this on multiple occasion in multiple countries over like periods of months like you're just like in the wrong there's no defending you now i also have a lot going on and sometimes it can be overwhelming and i'm not very good at showing emotions all right top of the message is you can just get carried away again and the comments and i have to stop it sorry i thought you were sending me a message with your clothing today and i interpreted it incorrectly sorry and then he says i have a lot going on and sometimes it can be overwhelming and i'm not very good at showing emotions she says you hold the weight of every single person in the factory and then come home and have to do the same thing as exhausting mentally and physically it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to have someone professional to talk to also yeah this just like reminds me of a high school relationship with one girl i was messing with and it was like we weren't messing with each other but we were like both there for each other on like the emotional stuff and sending paragraphs and stuff it's like get out of that and like really like lock in and be like hey you know this whatever we have is not working on and not working you're just like end it and then like go back to your wife and then figure that stuff out i don't know this is just like you're trying to be there for that person but y'all aren't messing with each other so like you're not truly like helping that person become the best they are you're kind of like fixing the problem so that you don't have to hear it and it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to have someone professional to talk to also and then being interpreted wrong i know you like them but it was just a general get something on quickly outfit so i wasn't late i'm fine 
tired and that doesn't work for me. Sometimes you have to take the rough with the smooth. All right. I'm just not very good at showing or expressing emotion. I don't know, hitting the like energy of like a teenage boy or something. Now we're getting to the juicy shit. Yes, you have been more respectful, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Sometimes I just get carried away again and the comments and I have to stop it. That was before. Sorry, I thought you were sending something. She says, nor am I, and then I just cry. And then this is the I'm fine, and the, I try that and it doesn't work for me. That's a very man thing to say, I'm fine. Might just not have the right man slash woman, but I need to find someone again. I think everyone needs someone to offload onto and get an outsider's perspective on things or ideas on how to manage emotions better. Two unread messages. I've never been very good at dealing with emotions, but I know that, and you're one of the few people I can talk to, and that's why I'm sad when I feel like there's a distance between us. There you have it. I don't know, bro, hit me with like some teenage boy emotions, like, it's just some like baby energy. All right, so we got kind of a paragraph. And what something seeing and is so precious and that you never know that's coming. Live every day, day by day. And if you want to put your heating and turn it up, so you want to run around your house naked to do because you never know what's coming. Exactly. Do you think that you have all of that on your chest and can sleep for the final two hours? I'm happy to keep chatting, but conscious of the time with you. I'm happy to keep chatting, but conscious of the time for you. No, we'll try to sleep. Please delete this chat for the both of us. Can I also ask why though? I feel like we're doing something wrong when you ask this. I will do as you ask, but it's just weird. You would just never want your phone to get hacked or taken. I've exposed myself totally and wouldn't do that if I didn't care about you and it's self-preservation for the both of us. Does that make sense? Yep, okay. So they're talking, they're talking, and he says, can I make a confession if you want? When you went to Dubai last year on the plane, and it's like the way she responds to it, it's like she is not in here at all. Cause it's like, you don't be responding to people like, if you want, you just like, if you truly care about them, truly messing with them, you'd be like, yeah, go ahead. She's just like, yeah, if you want to. I'm here, you know, if you want to, go ahead. When we went to Dubai last year on the plane, yep. And you just got me out of control. You finished off in the bathroom. We got this down bad. Yes, that took a long time for you to confess. Embarrassed, why? I don't know. Ah, but you knew uh, you couldn't, but knew you couldn't come to the bathroom. Definitely not. It doesn't sound like you needed me anyways. I don't know, bro. These one words is just like, come on, bro. She one word responses. She's not messing with you. Now we're getting into more of like his trust and stuff. You're overthinking, I think. I just wanted to see you. Forget Miami and Jerry is there, but I guarantee in Emila, you will be waiting for me to come to your room and or asking what I'm up to. Okay, do you want me to stop? If you do, I will. Yes, I do. Okay, understood. Sorry. Not because I don't like it, but because it makes me feel like you don't trust me and I'm not doing anything that should make you feel different. I don't get this trust thing. I think you should know I do completely. I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. It was sincerely not my intention. Message received and good night. All right, so we're kind of near the end. We're at like 70, 73. We got like seven more close to there. One more piece of debauchery, I think, before we like finally wrap this up. Sends a picture of him in a suit, whatever. Oh, good. You look like you landed and got your babysitter. Do you have a buggy also? No, but all okay. Be good to stretch your legs. Exactly. Good to stretch yours. Wow. All right. <laughs> you know what? He tried Riz. He tried. He failed, but you know, it's all about the effort you put into. Better luck next time. And then this is him fucking. And this is just him just fucking singing that shit in the bar. <laughs> all right. Then we got a picture of him in like some fucking like fox hunting suit. And then blurry of his that's that's nice. Can you delete this log by the way? He's asked her to delete this like five times. She didn't delete. He didn't even like check on her phone or nothing in like the months he had to prepare for this. He just like, yeah, she totally she totally like deleted it. I'm safe. I can trust her. All right, so I got to the end of it. Nothing like too crazy other than, you know, just straight up sexual harassment, inappropriate like relationship between a boss and his personal assistant. But yeah, I wanted to make this video because this was crazy. I was like sitting in Lakeside and I was like, Damn, I need to like make a video about this. Anyways, Christian Horner is going to be clowned on by the entire paddock. Will he get fired? I hope so. Will he get divorced? That's what I really want to find out. But yeah, I know she's not working for him no more. And I know whoever investigated Red Bull and found him completely like innocent of all charges is getting fired, probably getting sued too. And I wonder who's gonna replace him because 
honestly, none of this is like, you can't let it slide. Today's Thursday, we do have the first race tomorrow, so I guess we're gonna see how that goes, see if he pops up on the screen at all. Will the commenters mention it though? I'm curious to see how F1's gonna treat this whole thing, pretty crazy. And recently, this hasn't happened. I don't know if it's happened before, but like recently in memory, this is like completely new. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's been Riker, and I'll see y'all next time.